Hey, what's good, people? It's your man Animal Brian checking in. It's your girl Queen Candace on the hit show. With that being said, it's the only hip hop game show where you get points for your hot takes, all right? Now I got three of my closest buddies in here with me. I got Press Play Jones, I got Premier, and my guy Dame Diddy. We have Dame Diddy, Chris Dog, and Bougie Brother Sean. We're going to go through seven topics. Each round, they're going to debate, man. Whoever wins the round gets a point. It's that simple. That's how it goes. Without further ado, let's get it kicked off. First question, we're talking Kanye West. Matter of fact, we're talking Kanye West's entire episode, all right? So I hope you like Yay, and I hope you <laughs> listen to that Jesus is King album, because that's important. First question, Jesus is King was delayed multiple times. Shocker, coming from Kanye West. My question is to you, Dame. Are these multiple delays are going to end up hurting Kanye in the long run, or will people forget about it? Look, man, Kanye ain't got no credibility when it comes to release date. I had no faith on this album coming out on time. I did a bio for it before we reviewed it, and that joint sat for like six weeks. I knew it was going to get delayed. I don't care anymore. It comes out when it comes out. That's the way I look at Kanye West projects at this point. So I think it is going to hurt him as far as like people trusting his word. Like I don't even know if his tour going to start on time. You know what I'm saying? So, Premier, are you as fed up as Dame is? What difference does it make? It's Kanye. People are still going to tune in. Guaranteed. I, the man ain't trying to stunt, man, but the Yeezys jumped over the jump, man. His, his numbers going to do what they do regardless. So hurt his career. It's actually probably helped his career. Mm. Jones, when you look back at Kanye's career, will you think of all the multiple delays for the several projects that he's had? No, not at all. Like, Kanye's Kanye. First of all, Kanye is a, a Gemini. So they got two-sided people. So don't nobody, like, when Kanye does something, we expect it. Like, Kanye's still a genius. Mm. All right. Now, nah, listen, I like all of those takes, except for yours, Diddy. I won't stand for the Kanye hate today. I see you coming in hot. It's gonna you be got a lot six of more it. Kanye questions, man. You got to calm down a little bit. <laughs> this one goes to Premier simply because he quoted one of my favorite Kanye lines. All right. I got several pairs of Yeezys, and they did jump over the jump, man. Shout out to my guy, Premier. Quotes. Kanye quotes going to get you to win all day long. Right here. I'm going to let y'all let y'all know that right now. All right. Keeping it on Kanye. Question number two. I'm going to go back to you, Diddy. Kanye West has mentioned that this will be his last album. Do you believe that? I hope so. I don't want to hear no more of this nigga rapping no more. I'm dead ass seriously. But more than likely, no, this is not his last album. This dude is egotistical. He's an egomaniac. He will drop as many albums as necessary to stay relevant because outside of the music, I don't see anybody going to the, to the uh, movie theaters to check out any of these movies that he's working on or jesus is king movie it's only the the cult following that's going to go check that stuff out uh he has a sneaker line that'll probably pop for a while and let, until drake takes another shot at it and actually has some shoes of his own to show off but i don't think this is his last album he's too much of an egomaniac to just give it up like that okay chris dog what do you think we've heard this before with um artists in the past that they're going to retire and then we hear later they have a new album what do you think about kanye I feel like he has a lot left in the tank. Um, Dame is a hater when it comes to Kanye. We can all see that, and that's his right to be a hater, just like it's Kanye right to not drop an album if he chooses not to, but I don't think he will. I don't think he'll stop. He has too much left. He's one of the all-time greats when it comes to music as a total. He's as relevant as they come. You can't act like he isn't. He's on everybody's tongue. His agenda is being pushed, even if you don't like it. So as far as music goes, I think he still has more to give, and I'm sure he will. All right. Now, Bougie Brother Sean, what do you think? Well, I do think he's going to drop another rap album uh, because basically he's just, like you said, it, it's more of, a, of an attention-craving thing. That attention needle is something serious, man. I'm talking about... That, that's the biggest drug out here in the world right now with all the contents being created and social media out here. So as long as that attention needle is there for, for Kanye, he's going to be able to drop music. And, and as long as there's a mic in front of his face, he's going to be able to talk about his agenda. So, yeah, I, I definitely see an ongoing maybe five more albums, four or five more albums coming from Kanye. Hmm. All right, now I'm going to be honest. You all had some really great points, but I'm going to have to give that one to Bougie Brother Sean because he used the best word to describe Kanye, attention. 
Um, and I do believe because he does love that attention that we will see another album. Now, question number three. Nori, he was on Nick Cannon's radio show and he had some very interesting comments in regards to this Jesus King album. His comments were that it was trash. Now, my question to you, Premier, can we take Nori's word on album reviews in 2019? So a little bias in this situation. I'm a Queens boy. Uh, Nori from Queens. I say yeah. Nori's been around some of the most legendary, iconic people in hip hop. Grew up in one of the greatest eras of hip hop. So one thing Nori has to know is hip hop. Nori's the one that put Pharrell on, right? What the Neptunes do? What did Pharrell do in his career? Nori has credibility. Mm. All right, now look, Jones. Premier mentioned some Nori um, stuff from back in the day. Does his name still hold weight in 2019? I mean, exactly what you said. That was back in the day. Like, we are in 2019. So, Nori, uh, you can miss me with that. Mm. You not a Drink Champs fan? I am a Drink Champs fan. But, again, that's for the older older age group. Like, 25, 30 plus. Like, don't nobody care about The Kanye fans are universal. Like, so, nobody really got cares about what Nori has to say about Kanye's album. Kanye's doing what Kanye wants to do, and I feel him on that. All right, Dame, are you checking for Nori's uh, views on albums in 2019? Well, first of all, I just want to point out that Nori has a hard time putting a solid album out himself. But with that being said, Noriega has the number one hip-hop podcast out there, The Drink Champs. What he has to say as far as reviews is solid. Kanye West's album is trash. You remove the lyrics from that joint, that joint is fire with the lyrics on that joint. That joint is straight trash. They were not interesting comments. They were <laughs> factual comments. Shout out to Noriega. Now, Premier, you said you were checking for what Nori's got going on. You said he's a vet in the game. If Nori put an album out tomorrow, are you looking for it? I don't know if I said I was checking for what he's putting out. I said I'm checking for his opinion. I'm a Drink Champs fan. I respect what the man has to say. Respect what he's done in hip-hop. And I mean... He has credibility. This is Noriega. Now we on the run eating. Mm. Now, as a fellow Queens Bridge uh, alumni, as myself, this point goes to Premier Easy. Hey, that's hometown cheat code right there. Queens, we in the building. Let's get it. Um, you almost blew it because if you would have said you were checking for a Nori album, you would have <laughs> lost that point and it would to somebody else. But you didn't fall for that. Good job. Now, we do have to go take a commercial break. Can't come to build. I don't go nowhere. Hey, bro, I see your beard been growing. What you, what you been using? Hey, what well, maestro? Hi, I'm using coins by nature. by nature. It's all in my bed. I like how I feel and it coming like four different flavors. Mm. I see that it's growing and it's looking healthy, man. You made me feel like a baby. <laughs> I'm trying to get like you, man. Stop it. No, for real, man, I gotta go cop it. So tell me a little more about it. You know I got you because you gotta try it. I'm black on business and they rock it. Mm. At coins by nature, go follow. You start with the cleanser and wash it. And next you gon' need to detox it. And then it's the oils, the butter, and they even got bread and face moisturizer. I play. Huh. All right, y'all, we're back. Kanye West video, follow God. Good look, bad look, no look. Let me start with you, Dame Diddy. What do you think? Look, man, he sent me this link, and I was like, I'm not clicking this shit. Let me tell you this, man, look. I just don't want to be part of the Kanye West cult, the Kanye West cult that he's trying to form of black people that's going to go out here and vote for Donald Trump. I'm not part of that. I'm not about to go out, spend $250 on his boots, not about to pay $500, $600, $800 for a holy t-shirt. Look, I'm, I'm just not doing it. Not clicking on the video. I heard it was nice, but I'm good. All right. Bougie Brother Shine, what do you think? Good look, no look, bad look? This Follow God music video with Kanye West. Actually, I thought it was really good. It's, it's actually a really good look. If you notice all of Kanye's videos, six of his videos, he was doing donuts and vehicles, and he actually came out and did a do another donut on his 4,000-acre piece of property. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was really lit. And then, especially with um, his mom being gone, and, you know, he's kind of coming back in the realization of what's what's important, he has his dad on, uh, on the video with him. You know, I, I think that the messages in the video are just as good as um, the song, personally. Absolutely. What do you think, Chris Dog? this Follow God video? I'm going with good look on that. I watched it. Uh, it's kind of fly. They had the snow coming down. Pops was talking at the beginning about following in footsteps and how you shouldn't have to make your own path. I mean, it was definitely leaning towards you know, a, a, 
a positive video. It was a positive vibe going there the entire video. It was kind of fly, you know. Like I said, it was on his property. It was a cool, like, back screen, back shot. Like, everything was real good about it. So I'm going to say good look for him. Absolutely. I'm going to go with Chris Dog on this one. I thought it was a great look. Him and his father have definitely rebuilt their relationship. He was able to use his home in Wyoming. Um, and as you stated, you know, the footprint um, conversation that his dad had at the beginning, I thought the video was well put together. I thought it was a really, really good look for Kanye and his new album. So that point is going to go to Chris Dog. Moving on to our next topic, and this one's going to you, Jones. Is there a little bit of a new wave of gospel hip hop uh, kind of brewing right now? We've had Lecrae, he's won multiple Grammys. We also had Snoop's project, now we got Kanye. Do you see a future with Christian rap uh, being maybe popular uh, as some of the trap and other different types of forms of rap? I mean, I don't think it's ever going to get to the popularity of some rap forms, but yeah, I think it's, it's gaining popularity, especially with Kanye putting this out. Like, he's probably conferred. He actually did do a save over a thousand people at his, uh, his, uh, Sunday yeah, Sunday service. So, like, he's bringing in a whole new wave of people. He's making people actually go to church, mm. even if it's trendy. They still going. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, does this make you want to check for more Christian hip hop? All right, well, check this out, man. On my podcast, we were actually reviewing some Christian albums. You got Molly Music, you got Andy Minio, Lecrae. All of these people have been dope way before Kanye tried to put out this fake cult hip hop gospel fusion joint that he decided to drop. All right, so with that being said, Christian rap, I don't know if it's actually ever going to like blow up, blow up, but they actually have some really dope artists that's really doing a thing that actually can rap. Mm. Unlike what we heard on this Kanye trash that he decided to put out. <laughs> Amir, were you checking for gospel rap before this, and will you check for it after it? Uh, I was not checking for it before. Probably still won't check for it after. But I do know when you attach a face and a brand to a genre of music, it can bring a following of people to it. So Kanye, Snoop, bigger name brands than Lecrae, and some other ones that got mentioned, they can be gaining of traction, but as big as hip hop, doubt it. Yeah, uh, this one, hey, damn, you're killing me right now. I'm gonna go ahead and give you an olive branch. I'm gonna give you a point for this one, because you did name some popular gospel rap artists that are out right now. They have been doing it for a while. Lecrae, absolutely, has been killing it. Andy's been doing his thing. And they actually can rap, and they make solid music, though. So, But, again, to be fair, Ye is a bigger artist than all of them put together. And any light that shined you know, on this genre, they can look at it you know, and be grateful for it. I heard Lecrae speak about it. He didn't have any issues with it. He was definitely down for doing more types of music like this because they get looks off of it, off the residual. So that point goes to Dame, although the Kanye slander is almost getting out of hand. All right, now we all know that Kanye's mother passed roughly about 12 years ago and it changed, or some, or a lot of his fans do believe that it changed Kanye. So with his mother passing, and we'll go right back to you, Dame, you know, do you think, how do you think that's changed Kanye? I think it's changed him completely. Like, he was just, seemed like he was on this like super pro-black trajectory. He was ready to fight for pretty much everything, you know, so like his mom did back in the civil rights days and his mom passed and it changed him completely. You know, he was on the verge of getting engaged and married to his longtime girlfriend that was in the army at the time, who was pretty much all black. Canceled that as soon as his uh, mom passed away. He was having like a lot of, and he, he pretty much just went in a downward spiral, like on, in his personal life. And then musically, you heard the change musically because he went from graduation to 808s and Heartbreaks. And when you listen to 808s and Heartbreaks, it has some good songs up there, but nobody can deny the fact that it feels sad and, and, and it feels like something was lost and you can hear it throughout that album and f for the rest of his career it felt like he was trying to find something and I felt like that was because of the void that was left from his mom now he's at the point where he doesn't have anybody to answer to he doesn't have his mom calling him saying like baby that wasn't a good idea don't do that so you get instances like him running up on stage drunk off Hennessy uh taking awards from uh, Taylor Swift and going on TR TR um TMZ talking about slavery was a choice for black folks. So I think his mom passing had a tremendous effect on him and I think it's going to continue to have a, uh, an effect on him for the rest of his career. Hmm. Good point. Um, I, I do agree. You know, I think that does happen. You know, when you do lose someone close to you or a parent. Chris Dog, would you agree? Do you believe that his mother passing has had a huge effect on his career? 
Yeah, to not say that it had an effect would be uh, nonsense. Anytime you lose somebody close to you, it's going to affect you, especially when it's somebody who raised you. So, and, and when it comes to his music, it affected it. It definitely affected it. But him, as far as a person and what he does and, and how he portrays himself, I don't feel like that necessarily was the straw that you know broke the kettle back i think that he always been this person and it takes that type of person to make the type of music that he does and, and be impactful the way he is but yes it, it changed him but this guy is who he is and he, he, he's gonna keep on being that person and he, people need stuff to build off of and he's always looking for the next thing and that's why he, he, he gonna keep on evolving and it's gonna seem crazy to some but you know it's just gonna depend on if you're on that kick or not Okay. Now, Sean Diddy and, and pretty much Chris Dogg is saying, you know, his mother passing has definitely affected his career. But Chris is also saying that that's just who he is. You know, what is your take on the impact his mother has had on his career since she's passed? Well, I think since his past, I think the trajectory of his career has gone up, uh, you know, not not disrespecting anything that's that's gone on. But you can tell that you can tell with 808 and Heartbreaks and Twisted Dark Fantasy that it really played an effect on it. But the, those were those were arguably some of his best albums that he had dropped. And then with that, he kind of launched up from a, a new group of businessmen to actually start his line, shoe line, which is second best to Michael Jordan. You know, so I think that even though, yes, his mom passed and and yeah, he did get a little drunk and he was a little outlandish in certain areas, I believe on the business side and and just really as a human being, man, you know, he got three kids now, you know, he he's really lifted to a whole nother level in his life. And and of course, people could criticize him about it, man. But I, I, I think I think for face value it may look crazy, but. When you look at it, when you look back at everything that he's done, I, I think it's going to be a super impactful after the passing of his mother. Absolutely. Um, sorry, y'all. I got to go with Dame Diddy on that one. So when we get back and see who's our winner. All these niggas out here trying to ball. I'm just out here trying to win. Lord forgive me for all my sins. Real nigga just can't pretend. I put it all on the line. I tell him right now it's my time. Yeah, I ain't waiting for that nigga. Damn sure I ain't waiting for sign. Yeah, all of my niggas don't go. I work for back on the low. And if I say I'm going to do something, just know I'm going to do it for sure. All right, you guys, we are back. With that being said, now at the Fast Innovation 2019 Festival, Kanye West mentioned that he would be running for the 2024 presidential election. And he wanted to make sure that you guys understood that he was very serious about this. Now, Sean, I'm going to start with you. Are you taking this serious? Do you think that Kanye is going to run for presidency? And do you believe he will have a chance? Not only yes. Not only do I think he's going to run, not only think I, he's going to win, but I think he's going to change the whole world all over again because Kanye West is what America wants. They want, first, they want an entertainer. Second, they want a black man who doesn't talk like a black man. So it's like hand in hand. Then you have a, a model who's not, you know, it, everything is going to fit. 2024 is perfect. You're going to have a next generation of kids that's going to vote. They all going to have Yeezys on. It's like a match made in heaven. I'm voting for him. <laughs> all right, Chris Dog. Now, we all know you're a fan. Are you going to vote for Kanye in 2024? Okay, so boom. We're going to get Yang in office, so we're going to have an Asian movement first, which is going to change the game, but he only going to get four years. Then Kanye going to come, bust it wide open. I'm voting for him. It's going down. The Kanye movement. Jesus, he going to be preaching from the White House. It's going down for real. No, nah, I'm just joking. There's no way I'm voting for this guy. I refuse to be one who's going to vote for somebody who's going to destroy the world. <laughs> he has no business running for that office. So let's try maybe like a, like a city council movement first, Kanye, out in Chicago, somewhere where nobody really give a fuck. Keep on making music. <laughs> All right, Diddy. Will you support Kanye West for 2024? Will you have your shirt on? Hell no. <laughs> I will not support Kanye for any office. First of all, man, my man Crystal, shout out to Andrew Yang, but I'm ro I'm rocking with Bernie Sanders. You know, Bernie Sanders is the man. But anyway, Kanye West is possibly going to run for office, but I feel like he is going to get as humili humiliated 
running against like whoever like if he 2024 if bernie sanders is the president he will get mopped it would not if he would be one of the biggest laughing laughing stocks yes some people would be happy that he's got the little porn star wife that you know they can go and see as the first you know lady in the white house but think about this for a second what type of policies would this guy actually enact it would be me, 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 me. It would be along the same lines that all the stuff Donald Trump is doing, just a little bit more ignorant and arrogant. No, nobody wants to see Kanye West in any political office. I don't even want to see that dude head of like the the senior board of uh, high school or anything like that. He can't even get that. I feel like he's gonna yeah, I mess. Get off my girl. He, <laughs> he might have a my concert. Bad, yeah. Go ahead and let him, you know, do the do the Super Bowl concerts and head of that like head of prom you know the the concerts i can see a dope float going over top of the stage or something like that but don't get his dude no power nothing like that he is gonna abuse it and i can see him being just as bad or worse than donald trump i have to go with dame diddy y'all 100 percent agree i can't see it i can't see a commercial i can't even see his name on the ballot unfortunately so i'm gonna have to give that point to dame diddy which is going to make him our winner um, for today. You know what? Dane, do you have anything you want to say? Yeah, man. Oh, Bougie Brother Sean got to get his head checked, talking about he about to be out here voting for Trump. Uh, shout out to everybody to check out with that being said. Go check out my podcast at TLC Podcast on Instagram. I know where to find me. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for checking us out today. It's your girl, Queen Candace, and this is your show with that being said.